All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy, I am back again with another video. I hope that you guys are doing well and I hope that you guys are staying safe. So this channel is called Live Narc Free where it's all about helping victims, former victims and survivors get free and stay free after dealing with narcissistic abuse and also getting free and staying free away from toxic and unhealthy people. So you guys, um, I did get another comment on um, a video that I did a while back. Um, and thank you guys for leaving comments. I appreciate it. Um, and leaving, um, liking the videos and supporting the channel. That means the world. Please continue to keep doing that, you guys. Um, but basically, the topic today came from the video that I did. I want to say it was like a couple years ago where the your ex-narc will keep calling you even though they're with the new supply, you know, or their new person. And you could be wondering like, well, why are they doing this? And basically the person was just talking about how, you know, um, they were dealing with the narcissist for the period of time. And um, it got to a point where they broke up and now the narcissist just keeps continuing to contact that person, just keep reaching out. And from what it sounds like on the comments, like the person was saying, like, you know, she was doing her best to like, you know, be mean to the person, be mean to the narc, cuss the narc out. <laughs> you know, kind of give the same energy that the narcissist was doing to um, to her or vice versa. Um, and, you know, she was basically saying like, you know, she wanted to know why like the narc won't leave her alone. And like, you know, I guess basically just commenting on it. And if you're dealing with this, I know that it can be very, very difficult and very hard to understand and very confusing because you would think like, well, if they're with someone else, then why are they still trying to contact me and see what I'm doing? Why are they try still trying to get my attention? Why do they still um, want to talk to me? Like, what is there to talk about? <laughs> you know, so um, basically what you want to do if this is happening to you when the narcissist just won't go away. Unfortunately, you have to accept that they may never go away. Um, but one of the things that you can do is protect yourself. You can put up boundaries, you know, you can block the narcissist, you can delete them from your life. Um, and for some, I mean, if it does come to that situation or scenario, you might have to get a restraining order in some cases, you know, some, you may have to change your phone number. Some, you may have to make your social media private, you know, um, and that sort of thing. Or for some, you may have to relocate or, you know, um, you know, just really live a low key life or really live a private life. And you could be thinking like, well, why do I have to do all this? Because, you know, I was the one that was the victim. I was the one that was mistreated. I was abused. Why do I have to change for them? You kind of have to see it from a, um, a bigger perspective. You have to see the bigger picture and you have to understand that it's really about your safety at this point. And it's about, you know, you keeping yourself protected from this narcissist from this parasite from this person that's an energy vampire and that is a manipulator and essentially a compulsive liar because the person in the comments was saying you know the narcissist is not doing so well you know after they stopped talking basically this person was so respectful to the narc treated them very well you know loved on them even though you know they wasn't the best but like you know that person was given the narcissist the benefit of the doubt and you could be doing this now or you could have done this um and again the narcissist just keeps reaching out to you just they want to get some sort of reaction they want your energy they want supply they may try to contact you on social media they may try to contact you uh, via third party um, with fly monkeys it might be gang stalking you know it could be through a friend or through a family member and stuff like that. And um, it could be frustrating and you're like, why won't this person leave me alone, <laughs> you know? Um, but you have to understand the narcissist will never leave you alone. They will see you as a prized possession, as a trophy, something that they own for life. You know, I'm speaking from a narcissistic um, mindset, you know? So it's kind of like crazy and you would think like, why would a person be like that? But you know, you do have some people out there. so. Again, what you want to do is just ignore them, move on with your life, work on yourself, love on yourself, 
and do the inner healing and do the inner work. You have to, because again, this narcissist is not going to change. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to stop you from moving on. That's why they won't go away because they don't want you to be happy and move on. They don't want you to live a, a life with um, that's happy, productive and constructive and successful without them. They hate that. You know, they don't want you to forget about them. You know, they want you to put all of your energy, your time, your focus on them, you know, even though they're abusing you and mistreating you. So though you just want to make sure that, you know, just accept that they, they won't ever go away, but you have to do and take action and put um, things in place to where, you know, you make sure that the narcissist has no contact with you and that you set up the correct boundaries. Now, if this is a case where, you know, you have children with them, again, I know that's a whole different ballgame. You know, that's where you have the gray rock method. You know, you have to emotionally detach, but you have to become that role model for your children because you don't want to become like the narcissist. You know, you want to be the person that takes the higher role, that does the right thing, and that demonstrates healthy relating as much as possible. And teach your children about narcissistic abuse. Seriously, you guys do it as soon as, you know, they're ready to start dating or even before if you want to let them know early on, you know. If they're, you know, because kids ask questions and stuff like that. So um, now in the case where it could be a parent. Now, I know that that is something that's very, very difficult and, you know, a touchy situation. Narcissistic parents, um, you can set up boundaries. Some people are like, oh, you know, I don't want to like not talk to my parents. Then you just might have limited contact. You may not tell them like certain information. You may just keep it very surface level. Could be the same thing like with an in-law. You may not tell them like they may like try to bribe you guys for information and like maybe take you out on like take you out to eat and lunch and they may try to like say all this stuff about themselves so in return you'll say all this stuff about you because they're trying to get information um and then what they're going to do with that information they're going to find out what your triggers are find out what your um, traumas are and then they'll use that against you at a later time so you just have to really be mindful so anyway um i hope that this is helpful just try to ignore you guys don't even respond don't give the narcissist the reaction don't give the like give them nothing like no emotion no feelings no nothing and then that, um, eventually they'll kind of get bored, but they won't go away. But it, it was like they won't try so hard. Like once when a narcissist sees that you're reacting, then they're like, okay, I, can, I still have a chance. I'm, I'm getting something out of them. Like don't give them any reaction, you guys. No response, nothing. All right. So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful and insightful. I would love to know what was you guys' biggest takeaway. Um, and again, please keep leaving comments, you guys, on the videos. It does help because, you know, when you guys leave comments, this could definitely be a message that somebody else needs to hear. All right. And it can help them in their journey to recovery. So um, I hope that that makes sense. And then also, um, I did want to let you guys know, you know, that Black Friday is coming up. Thanksgiving. Um, happy holidays to everybody early. Um, but I, I did want to let you guys know I would like to offer a 15% off on all of my sessions, my courses, my holiday package, the self-care holiday package deal. Um, and I wanted to do that just my way of saying thank you guys for your support. Um, it really does mean the world to me. And I just want to help as many people as possible, be a support for as many people as possible. So um, if you want to inquire more about um, a session or um, my book or anything, the holiday package deal, go ahead and um, visit my link below and you can find more out about that. And that is only for a limited time only until the end of the month. So make sure that you do take advantage of that deal. And also you get that um, Black Friday deal on the course. Like if you have issues with narcissistic parents or just childhood traumas, definitely check out that course. But um that I just wanted to like let you guys know about that and the same thing on the readings as well you get the Black Friday deal but um, anyway you guys if you enjoy this video make sure that you do check out I'm going to post some videos where I talk more about setting boundaries with narcissists and um, the importance of going no contact and staying no contact so no contact whatsoever you guys don't respond don't react give the narcissist nothing whatsoever all right and until the next time bye guys